So today we're going to start off talking about uh, Chinese education. So as you might have noticed that uh, I put quotation marks on specifically education, this word. So here's the question. Why did I do that? Well, is it because that all Chinese students were too smart, we don't even need to take education seriously, and it is just a piece of cake for us? Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Apparently that's not true. Well, by definition, education is supposed to be an enlightening experience of a person. Well, but this concept in China has been distorted into a psychological torture and physical abuse. So, um, why did I say that? Today we're gonna, I'm going to introduce a new word to your uh, vocabulary, which is... Wow, well, it's working, not working. Uh, which is Gaokao. So what is Gaokao? So Gaokao is a Chinese national college entrance examination. And to have a very basic uh, idea about Gaokao, imagine this student taking this giant exam for three days, and uh, her score on this test literally determines her future. And even if she has any physical or mental conditions, she cannot put off this test on the other day. She has to take it on the same day like the others. Um, so um, why does Gaokao frustrate students so much? Well, I'll just um, look at um, the next slide, which is um, no, this uh, math problem. <laughs> this is uh, actually a three-dimensional uh, ge uh, geometry uh, problem that, that was um, in the previous uh, Chinese Gaokao. So just look at all those lines going internally in this irregular cube, so you might ask yourself, well, how am I supposed to know how to do this? Well, if you're a Chinese student, then you're supposed to know, know how to do this if you want to end up going to a uh, prestigious college. And, uh, and there's very big misconception about Chinese students. And some people may say, well, he's Chinese, then he's definitely good at math. Well, the sentence is most likely correct. But I don't think cause and effect can be established here. Um, when you might be at home, staying at home watching Netflix or uh, playing Xbox or watching a football game, Chinese students in China, they're actually studying where you're um, playing games or watching videos. We, we study so hard, we practice and practice until we grew tired of it. And um, yeah, so. Let's look at the daily life of the Chinese students. So you might not think this is uh, true, but I'm gonna tell you what, this is, this is the reality for all Chinese students. Just simply look at how many books that are stacked on their tables. And more ridiculously is that uh, half of them are not their textbooks. Half of them are so-called um, homework books where you will see like there's a truckload of like questions in these books and which are accountable for why Chinese students spend so much time every day on their homework. And uh, you might have noticed that like there's some students that are actually sleeping in the class. Well, the reason why they're sleeping in the class is not because they're slacking off. It is because that they're too tired. They're totally exhausted by what they're doing like for days and years and that their brains are overworked. Um, yeah. So what happens after this, um, this very, very stressful um, Gaokao? So you would see these Chinese um, high schools have this tradition where students ripping out their textbooks or throwing <laughs> out from the top of the building. And well, it is a big mess of, um, to clean up. And it's a, it is a big waste of paper, but it is actually a tradition. So, um, look at this picture. <coughs> this infant is actually, um, the picture on the left is actually made a joke. But uh, there are truths that are held within. Um, um, you might think that, um, well, Chinese parents start preparing their kids when they're in a like, very small age. And they want them to do good on their study. And they want them to get a good scores on their test. And most of parents, they indoctrinate this I believe that getting a high score on Gaokao will bring you to success. 
Well, come on, not, life is not about a piece of paper, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, yeah, so hopefully I, um, you can have a very basic concept of what, about what Gaokao really is in your mind. And uh, here I implore you guys to be thankful for what you have today. And uh, while well, there are so many Chinese students, do, students are still going through this toughness. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Thank you.